God is still on his throne. Prayer changes everything, and praise can move mountains. Lord, let us be humble in every day so that we can become vessels of your honor. This brief message is called The Unseen is Still There. It never ceases to amaze me the people who refuse to believe in God because they can't see or touch Him. I like to ask them if they believe in air, since you can't see or actually touch the air. You can see the effects of the air, when it blows things around, or gets hot or cold, or makes noise. Physically, we breathe air in, and it fills our lungs to keep us alive. Yet people even take air for granted, along with the one who provides the very air we take in in each breath. I ask, if they believe in air, then why not believe in the one who grants our every breath? For that is not owed to any of us. Our lives are a short passage from one place to the next. He sets us here to make a difference, and he provides us with the means to do so in whatever way is in his will for our lives. For a time is coming when that last breath will pass away and judgment will fall. When that happens, there is no turning back. We each have a choice. We have the free will to accept God or reject His saving grace in our personal life. Repent. Believe upon the gospel. And be saved while you still have your next breath. Believe upon the Lord God and be saved from the wrath to come. For judgment falls upon the heathen with swift wings to make up the minds of those who would wake up and come over to the side of the Lord. Judgment falls upon the others to recompense the crimes against God's people. O heathen, watch and wait, for the Lord's judgment cometh upon swift wings to make your cities an habitation not fit for man nor beast. The time of the heathen hath come. Repent your evil ways and be saved, O heathen. There is still a short time left. Repent, repent, repent and be set aside from your wicked ways that you will be saved from eternal judgment. The death of most permanence is forever separation from God, forever being never again able to see His face for all eternity, never ever to see Him, never to call upon His mercy or ask for His blessing again. The wage for your iniquity will be nothing, nothingness for all eternity. The wages of sin is death. Soon it will be all over for the wicked. But there is still time to get right with the Lord. Still time to make amends. Why won't you concede? Why won't you repent? Why? 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 Why do you despise your Maker? Why do you wish you were not what you are? I created all, but you deny my existence, saith the Lord. You deny me because you want to put me out of your mind, saith the Lord. Why do you deny the truth? The truth will set you free, if only you would bend an ear and listen. The time will come when I will turn away from my patience, saith the Lord. And then what will you do? Where will you go to hide from my wrath, says the Lord? I have given you two days to prepare. On the morrow I come again, and when I come it will be too late to repent. Take the time I've given to grasp the hand outstretched to you. 
Let me lead you to salvation. Let me salvage that what has been lost. You do not have to throw yourself away. The Lord says, Come home, please. Come home. Thank you very much for listening and God bless.